Hey there everybody, Pop on Top here. Welcome back to some more Fallout 4 mods. In today's mod we have this gun here. This is the innovative 10mm pistol. It's got burst fire, okay? That's what makes it cool. That's the most innovative thing about it. I mean, there's lots of other cool things as well. But the main cool thing, three round burst. One, one trigger, three, three rounds. I'm not doing that myself, okay? I promise. Got a like, police skin on here. We got a nice looking reflex sight too. The red reflex sight instead of green like everything is. I mean, obviously that's not working out as well in mean, your bursts. You gotta like wait and be patient. You should always wait and be patient when you shoot, but you know, besides the point. So you can find this gun anywhere you can find 10mm pistols. You can find it in stores, you can find it on enemies, you can find it wherever. It's just a replacement kind of 10mm pistol. Um, it doesn't have to be burst fire. Obviously you have all the receivers here. You can make it automatic or you can make it just, you know, semi-auto. It does the same amount of damage burst fire as it does um, semi-auto. Semi-auto is going to shoot a lot quicker. Burst fire is the slowest fire rate. But it's the coolest because it's unique to the gun. I mean, I, that's, that's the thing. Anyway, you get your heavy barrel, light barrel, standard barrel, long barrel, long heavy barrel, right? Your barrels and stuff. Your sharpshooters grip, basic grip, standard grip stuff, all that stuff. Standard, large, quick eject, large, quick eject, mag, very similar stuff. You get all different kinds of sights here. You can get red glow sights, blue glow sights, advanced reflex sight. Advanced reflex sights and all different kinds of tactical reflex sight. It's just two of the same. Maybe they're different. Advanced. I have currently have the advanced reflex set hexagon tactical red, and it's like there's a lot of things here. You can also get all the way down here to a recon scope still, just like the 10 millimeter pistol could get in the base game. Um, we're not going to show off all of these things, but we could show off some examples of the different sights, like blue here. You could put a compensator muzzle brake, advanced suppressor, suppressor. I'm not sure if any of these are any different. They just look different. Like suppressor is just a round suppressor, and advanced suppressor is a um, cube suppressor, like a rectangular shaped one. More blocky, I guess, whatever you want to think of it as. Um, and then there's some paints on here, the Brotherhood of Steel paint, which is orange Miniman paints, just got some nice, actually really fancy looking engravings on there. So we'll slap that thing on The police is the white one, standard paint's just black, and the Viper Armory's got some nice engravings too, especially there on the handle. But we'll rock this right now, we'll show off a couple of these different sights. There's also a legendary variant, the Blue Glow sight, that actually looks pretty nice. I'm gonna try to shoot this as fast as I can. It's not very quick, okay? Like, I'm gonna show this off to you. We're gonna switch the sight, because we wanna show off a couple of these. We're not gonna show off all of them, like I said. Um, we'll put on a regular reflex sight just to compare. It does have better accuracy, obviously, than irons or glow sights. And then, for example, if we wanted to put this on, obviously, automatic's gonna be super fast, you guys get that. But if I just put it on semi auto, it does the same amount of damage, but I bet I could shoot a lot. Oh, this is a regular reflex sight. Like Like, if I cared about putting rounds down range and doing a lot of damage with each of those bullets still, this would be the one. Look at that fire, though. It's like, because, yeah. Like, if you aim down sight, it, like, it's a bug. That's a bug. When you aim down sight, it stays in aim down sight accuracy for a second if you don't move. Anyway, if you move, it all of a sudden goes back. If you shoot one time, it goes back. Um, let's look at, look at one more sight. Maybe we'll put it back on burst because that's the cool thing about that's innovative about it. And we'll use the burst one in some combat as we go to look for... One of the cooler ones. So these reflexes are dots. Probably not. A, that's probably a circle then. This other one, I'd imagine. Circles, hexagons, all these things. You can make it obviously red too. It's a red circle. There's a lot of different sites in here. Yeah, this is a circular site. So hexagon, obviously, the advanced site that we had at the beginning, is the shape of the actual, not the shape in the middle of the site, the color thing, right? But the shape that's actually... So we'll show this off again. Uh, put it in dark blue, cause you know, it's a color. I don't really care, <laughs> okay? <laughs> but it's like actually, it's not even a hexagon. It's like, you know, a square, but that's a good deal. It's pretty accurate though. We're gonna mess around with it though. With a nice little engraved one, it's nice. Nice little three round burst going on there. But we're gonna go up here, way up to, the USAF status station in Olivia, and there's a unique legendary variant of this gun that we can find there. And I'll see you guys when we get there. All right, everybody, so we're here. We're gonna test out the weapons in combat. I think there's raiders here, right? So maybe they're here today, maybe they're not. But the weapon, irregardless, the unique legendary variant is down actually in the thing. So, like I said, I don't know if, the, the only cool thing about the burst is that it's unique. I don't think it actually is functionally better 
than not bursting. Because obviously you could fire a burst on your own, right? You could just take an automatic and fire in short burst. Obviously automatic has less damage, but if you do semi-auto, you could just fire faster when you need to fire faster. There's some raiders in here. So we're going to clear these guys out real quick, showing off the weapon in as many ways as I can. Did you do one in here? No. Just a couple over here. I missed because I'm hit fine. See, I hit him with one bullet. He died. I mean, these are the little raiders in this particular spot. Let's do some bat shooting, too. Or not. If you're not going to poke your little head back out. It only shoots one shot in bat and it ricocheted. Like it killed somebody. Excuse me? It only shoots one shot in bat. I wanna, I'm going to confirm this again one more time. Like... Yeah, so Vats does not have the burst fire capabilities. That's an interesting distinction there. Because that would obviously, that, then it's an automatic weapon. The automatic weapon, automatic weapon shoot burst in Vats as it is anyway. So, let's go get the unique vein of this pistol, and I'll show that off to you guys in a second. Uh, it's in this little room, I guess, to the side. Where you have to get the key. You have to get the intel room key down there if you haven't got it already. And it's next to the dead soldier here. He's got the gun. It's less cool, actually. I'm just gonna I'm gonna put this out there as a thing. So, it's legendary variant. It gives you plus 25% faster fire rate, 15% faster reload, which is a regular legendary effect. It's pretty good. It's not it's not one of the greatest ones, but it's a good one. You know, you know, just it does make the gun better. It does instead of shooting 10 millimeter bullets, it shoots 0.45 bullets, but it can't be burst fire, so it loses some of the coolness. It is like it's a kind of a unique model, cool 10 millimeter pistol. But it's not innovative. It's unique and interesting, maybe, but innovative. Innovative implies to me like you're doing something crazy that's never been done before. There's no burst fire guns in the game by default. I mean, that thing's making some big holes in the wall, but it's a .45 pistol. It's a, it's a cool, this model of this gun is amazing. And I think it looks great, and I think there's some cool things you can do with it. But obviously, one of the other things, I don't know if you saw that in there. I'll show this off just real quick, just so you can see. Minus two luck. And that's part of the deal. Like, you just like less crits. And when you run a pistol build, for me anyway, I always want to focus on criticals because pistols don't do that much damage by default. So you want to try to do double damage as much as possible. But we're going to go show the, see if we can figure out the customization of the unique variant, which, if I remember correctly, is not very much at all. I'm just not like. The whole point of a legendary variant is that it's supposed to be unique and cool and somehow improve and it's like well yeah it got a faster fire rate and it's good. but if you can craft legendaries you can just strap a legendary on the burst fire one and make it cooler that way i'll see you guys when we get there we'll talk about it more when i get there all right everybody we're back here at my settlement let's take a look at the weapon like i said you could do some receivers to it but it's always some auto put advanced on there it's still better obviously you can work its way up but then it's just a, it's a long heavy barrel Sharpshooters grip, but this is all very 10 millimeter pistol stuff, except for it shoots 0.45 ammo. I, I think it does the same amount of time. You could get the cool hexagon sights in there, but you can't customize the color. It just doesn't exist. <laughs> all right? Like, I like the hexagon sight. I think it's a much better looking reflex sight than the base game one. Obviously, put the advanced suppressor and stuff on there. You got some cosmetic differences and stuff. But you could take the legend i have a mod that allows me to remove legendary effects if i wanted to which is almost worth doing because the minus two luck i think is a bigger deal than getting more fire rate and faster reload i don't think it's i mean it's not that good like the legendary just sucks okay the hexagon side is cool and you can shoot it fast because it's advanced right and it reloads slightly faster but i mean if you if you see me shooting that off and this this advanced version here obviously the burst is a little slower fire rate but like the reload's about just as quick, dude. It doesn't really make that much of a difference, okay? <laughs> like, I promise, the minus two luck is the thing that bites you in the ass with that one. The innovative 10 millimeter pistol, the regular one you find out in the world, is dope. Ten burst fire is good. That is cool as hell because it doesn't exist in the game yet. A mod came in and was like, I made burst fire a thing. It doesn't work in VATS. But they, you know, when innovation comes, sometimes it doesn't come pleasantly and it comes with bugs and kind of crazy shit. But. It'll get there eventually. Maybe next Fallout game in 2030 or whenever the hell that will be, we'll have guns with burst fire. Just in the vanilla game. 
Who knows? Just because this mod exists and there's a copy of that stuff like they always do with all the mods. I don't know. If you guys are interested in checking this mod out for yourselves, make sure to check out the top link in the description. There'll be a link there to the Bethesda on that page. You can download this mod for yourselves there. If you guys have enjoyed the video, please make sure to like rating down below. If you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe so you can check out more videos from me. And pretty much other than that, you guys have a good rest of your day, or whatever it may be, and I will see you in the next episode.